morning student today today we will understand how to do the fsk modem connection okay so as usual we people are having two input patterns okay among these two input pattern any one we will be connecting it to the fsk modulator okay so that will be connected here like from here to here you can do the first connection and you can observe fsk output along with the supplied input so at that stage you should be able to distinguish the output of the fsk will have two different uh, frequencies f1 and f2 because my input is either 0 or 1 so for 0 f1 for 1 f2 like that two different frequencies you could be able to identify over the cr dso or cro okay so this knob is actually the tuning circuitry for trans transmitter and or a fsk modulator so if the waveform is not uh, you could you could not be able to see the two different uh, frequencies in the output waveform you can uh, tune this fine tune this uh, knob okay so that you can observe the two different frequencies for 0 and 1 respectively okay so if once if you are able to observe the two different frequencies at the uh, output of this uh, FSK that is enough no need to uh, do any uh, fine tuning of the knob. Now after this you should be able to see the spectrum of uh, this FSK signal on using the uh, math menu and cursor and horizontal adjustment along with zooming of uh, the spectrum. Okay. And after that, uh, you supposed to use the uh, knob to fix the uh, fix the first minima and uh, first means minima before the peak and min, uh, minima after the peak. You supposed to connect the two cursors to observe the bandwidth. Okay, so that is how to observe the bandwidth. After this, you will be connecting these two input of the receiver here. <coughs> From here to here, you will be connecting and connect this C to B connect this C to B after this observe this output of FSK and original bit pattern output of FSK and original bit pattern so these two should be same okay sometimes uh, due to uh, due to some uh, not, uh, not being fine tuned this PLL see this, this is actually the PLL if it is not properly fine tuned then these two of this input and output are not same at that time try use this knob to fine tune the PLL so that these two waveforms should be same okay so this is how the FSK modulator and FSK demodulator works.